terrible family story week continues here on Jennifer Beast and YouTube channel. Yep, so today we're gonna to be talking about a transaction that actually ended up good. So there is a happy ending here, but there was some oh my goodness tears in the middle. So here's the basics of it. Um, uncle was gonna sell house to nephew, okay? They got into a rent to own option where they were going to rent there for a year and then buy the house have a contract, everything. Um, the nephew's excited, they pay their rent every month, they call us to start the mortgage, we start the mortgage. The uncle's like, ah, you gotta wait, we're gonna do it, but you gotta wait. Um, you know, and they go through this whole process back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And finally the uncle says, cool, let's do it. I'm ready to sell you guys the house. We've got the contract. We've got the price already negotiated. Let's go. So as the lender, I'm like, chop, chop team, let's close this. So we get all the way to the finish line. We had loan docs out and I get this call. Jen, and whenever I hear that tone, I'm like, oh no, oh no. And I looked through my notes, oh my God, our doc's out? Did I do something? <laughs> no. Jen, he wants more money. He said we broke the contract and if we don't give him more money, he's going to cancel the house. We don't know what to do, we already live here. We don't know how we broke the contract. He just wants more money. Can we give him more money? No. Mm -mm. I mean, sure, but no. No, 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 that's horrible. Okay, so I, I call and I do my deep dive. Okay, let's talk about what happened send me all the communication between you and the uncle. So I get all this communication, right? And I look at it all and I'm like, because the uncle's trying to say that they need to be out of the contract because they um, broke a term of it. So I'm looking at all the terms of the contract and I'm looking at the text messages and I'm like, there's not a leg to stand on here. So I'm like, why does he want more money? Like what happened that he wants more money? And I'm going through my notes and I look at my notes and I see the appraisal came in high. Yes. So he was selling them the house for 320,000 and the appraisal came in at 360. And I'm like, well, we don't give the appraisal to the seller. And that's important for you guys to know as a lender, I do not give that appraisal to the seller unless it's low. And I would give it to your agent to give to them. I would never be like, Hey, here you go. Here you all, especially a high appraisal. Oh my goodness, I will guard that thing with my life. I will throw my dog Muppet on it. Protect it, Muppet. Don't let the seller see it. Well, this was family. So when family had asked what the house appraised at, they were honest. Yeah. And so then that family member determined that they needed more money because the house was worth more than they had agreed to. So lots of drama, lots of tears. Um, Ultimately, what ended up happening is the family member did go forward with the contract, but they did try to run their nephew through the mill to shake more money out of them because of a higher appraisal. So I think it's really important for you guys to know that just because you're dealing with family, and guys, all these text messages were chill. They were all like, yeah, cool, thank you. Okay, wonderful, we're doing this, great. Get on it, let me get you this, let me help you this you wouldn't have seen it coming in a million miles away. But whether it's family or not, greed, right? Or or what you feel that you're, you deserve, it is a reoccurring theme. So if you have a house that appraises higher, even if it's your mom you're buying the house from, don't tell her, don't tell her. She doesn't need to know. She doesn't need to know. And sometimes people will be like, well, am I ripping her off? No, you're not. You guys agreed to a contractual price. You lucked out and the market went up in between that time. The appraisal came in higher. However, you're not selling the house right now. So you're not recognizing that gain either. It's just a paper gain. So never share what the appraisal came in at, even if it's your grandma, even if it's your mom, even if it's your pop pop don't share the value because all it can lead to is drama. Thankfully, in this case, lawyers did not have to get involved. However, I have seen it where we got a lawyer up, not me the lender, the borrower's lawyer up, the seller lawyers up, family relationship destroyed. So check out Tuesday's video if you didn't see it on what to do if you're buying with a family member, but don't tell anyone your appraisal value if it comes in high. Thanks for watching.